Okay, so I've had a problem that's been bothering me for a while. I've been trying to buy ETFs with an automatic investing, sort of like dollar cost averaging, but with ETFs. And when I've tried in the past with Vanguard, they have, they've only had the option for mutual funds, and mutual funds are basically you know, heading towards extinction. Their ETFs are superior. So I've been trying to find a way of I haven't found a way to do it in Vanguard because when you select when you select your bank information to automatically withdraw and they they give you an option to invest you have to select a mutual fund they don't give you an option at least the last time I tried it they don't give you an option for an ETF and then I just tried it with Fidelity and it's sort of the same thing um, actually you can see it right here um, with Fidelity, you can set up scheduled transfers, and if you select automatic investments, um, it gives you, when you select it, it'll say it's not, not available. And if I select, there are no eligible mutual fund positions. That's what it says. So it's sort of like Vanguard. It's one of these old things. So I, I think it, as far as the cutting edge, and I tried this with Schwab, I couldn't do it. But as far as the the only one that I know so far that you can do it is E-Trade, and I just discovered this today. So if you actually type in automatic investing E-Trade, you go to this website comes up and it explains uh, how it works. Uh, now they, they do try to upsell you on, they have one of these robo-advisor services I guess similar to what Wealthfront has and and they're all trying to do that and they call that their core portfolio that's the paid paid service they have so uh, they rebalance it diversify it and then I think they take a fee and if we actually look at the fee um, yeah see there's an advisory fee free for three months it's probably like a quarter of a percent, which is ridiculously high. Um, so I'm not interested in the core position. I'm interested in the automatic investing. So basically, you click this. It takes it lo It requires you to log in, and then once you're logged in, um, it take you're basically at this automatic. You could go. You could go to that search for it, or you can you can log in and click automatic investing get started okay now it shows my my brokerage account select the account actually I'm gonna try the other one okay so we hit continue now the nice thing about this is it says select fun but there's ETFs included so these are ticker symbols down here for ETFs that I currently owned so it gives me the option where I, if I want to add more of this uh, VOO or VGT, I can select this or I can add another one. So if, if it's not in the list, I think I can I could add, uh, like my other one has QQQ, I could add Invesco QQQ. Let's see what it does here. Enter. Okay. So there's... The only restriction is there's a $25 minimum recurring amount. So you can set a period of time. It could be, I think, weekly, monthly, uh, $25 minimum. So you could do twice a month, every month, every three months, every six months, every year. And you can fund it using, this is the drop down. It shows your accounts. Or you could do a bank account. So you could have this taken out of a bank account you could have it taken out of the settlement account if you've got an e-trade uh, checking account actually I'm gonna look to see if I could do savings could I do it from my savings account um, you know I'm not gonna try it at this point but you could play around with it um, Let me, actually, I'm going to try it. It's not going to hurt to try. Because if I could 
keep it in the high interest savings. I do need a little bit of emergency money. Keep it in the high interest savings account and then do recurring investments while the stocks keep going down, prob probably in 2023. And then just uh, buy a little bit at a time over you know the year. Enrollment. I'm not sure when uh, when that actually buys these. So I'm guessing it'll place a market order. I'm guessing it'll actually place a market order for the ETF and then do it. I'm not sure at what point in time. Oh, look at that. So it actually looks like it's going to work. So I've got like 5,000 something in the savings that I just, I just got from selling some stock. And uh, so now I don't even have to worry about selling the ET, uh, selling the, uh, my savings to, to do the automatic investment. So we'll see if it goes through. I'm going to maybe check on this um, every week. So it looks like I'm down for $100 a month. And this is my retirement account with QQQ, which is a good, uh, basically the NASDAQ 100. It's mostly tech and tech is down right now. So I want to buy when it's down. So here we have the order submitted. Today is... Uh, Today's the 4th, December. Now the transfer date, I'm not quite sure what this is. It says the 7th. And then the, <clears throat> the date that the order will be submitted will be, so it looks like it's actually not going to submit for a full week after you place it. So. Um, I don't see an I don't see a way that you can actually change the calendar so it looks like it's gonna do it on on Tuesday so next uh, not this coming Tuesday but the next Tuesday the following Tuesday and I'm guessing the transfer date is the date that it transfers the money from the savings account to the settlement account and then it executes the following week then um, I'm not quite sure why why there's two of them on on Wednesday but then the following week um, you know there's no I mean that's not a holiday is it um, well Christmas is Christmas is on a Sunday I, maybe that has something to do with it. But anyways, I think the transfer date is the day that it takes the money out. We'll look at the frequently asked question here. So that this I wish every I wish every broker would have this because this is like since the ETFs came out, why can't you auto invest them? That they're basically dying for that sort of feature. You can add up to 50 re reoccurring orders for no load, no transfer, uh, no transaction fee, mutual funds, and select and and or select ETFs. Orders here we go here. Orders for automatic investment are placed on Tuesdays. Um, it does have a restriction here. It's this is for long-term investing, so certain ETFs such as inverse or leveraged ETFs are not uh, eligible. Well, that's that's good because that's actually a, a really smart thing because they could they could possibly get sued for that because there have been lawsuits. The problem with leveraged ETFs is it looks good in theory, but they're only they're only good at like day-to-day -day performance when you start going from like weeks to months the performance falls off off a cliff the performance falls off a cliff and you're you're stuck with something that's a, a huge money loser so if you're gonna auto invest it would be foolish to do inverse or leverage ETF so that's smart of them to actually do that put that protection in place
a list of eligible ETFs is here. So I, I guess it just so happened that I, I happened to click on the eligible ETF because it looks like not all of them are available. There's, well, you can actually invest in the ARK fund, which is a very expensive, uh, speculative. Kathy Wood, you've probably seen that in the news. Uh, QQQ is on there. Uh, there's actually a lot a lot less than I thought. I was originally a little bit more excited than this, but it is a nice thing. There, it shows it shows iShares S and P five hundred fund. That's a good one. Um, one hundred results. So I'm guessing they're going to have a lot of Vanguard stuff on here. Let's actually I'll pull up a list of all two hundred rows. Let's actually make it bigger here. So you can, here you can see it here. ARC ETF Trust. iShares. <coughs> um, you've got some Swab funds in here. Oh, here we go. Here's Vanguard. Vanguard. Admiral Shares. I, it looks like some of these may be this is a mutual fund I believe no it says ETF Admiral I don't know why they're calling it Admiral V O O G okay and then you've got small cap V U G that's the Vanguard growth fund you've got a lot of Vanguard stuff here So I, it's these are is this list only ETFs here because, um, I thought you could do stocks also. Let's look. I have all star ETFs. This is the only. These are the only options available. So I, I guess you can't do, you can't do um, stocks. If you wanted to do a reoccurring investment in stocks, but you know what? That's okay. That if they're the first, as far as I know, and this is a really nice thing. And actually, that this is one of the reasons I was ready to move away from E Trade. And I'm thinking now, I got the savings account open. I like the interface about as well as I like uh, Swab. And so, it, I think they need to up their update their interface a little bit it's it flashes a lot every time you use the tab but I'm pretty happy with them so far now that I've got the the high interest rate savings and you can do this so I mean I think this actually makes E-Trade way more competitive now with this feature so you may want to check it out and, um, check it out and, uh, and one of the first anyways that's my video for today. Have a good one. Okay, so I recently just set up I recently set up the auto I recently set up the E-Trade auto invest uh, earlier and then I discovered that actually I think I made a mistake. So I'm going to show you how you go back and you correct it or if you want to change or delete your auto invest like you don't want to contribute one week or the next month or whatever I'll show you how to change it so you go to the the trading you go to the trading tab in E-Trade once you've logged in and then you go to automatic investing and this isn't the most intuitive thing in the world so even though I've set up an automatic investing I, I have sort of this promo page that I have to click past so you can go through the infomercial here below and read more details on it or I want to see my current plans so I actually I set up another one now too so I have QQQ which is Invesco QQQ Trust set up for once a week investment $25 a week and this is in my Roth IRA and this is basically the the funding account is 
well, you'll see there's an option for that. And the second one I have is Vanguard S&P 500 fund, VOO. And it's also set up every week for $25. And I'm not sure why. Um, the, the investment dates, I set these both up today. The next investment date for... Um, for QQQ is the 13th of December and for VOO it's uh, the 6th of December which is um, this week so I'm not sure the reason for that but the one that I the, re the mistake that I think I made is this is a retirement account and I put in the savings account as the funding account which means I would I would probably be making a contribution an IRA contribution and I don't want to do that I want to be in more control of that so I'm gonna edit I clicked edit and now let's make it a little bigger here now you can see the recurring amount action my weekly plan actually you can rename it so I'll just call this one uh, QQQ okay every week investment day let's see if we can change we can actually change it well no we can't change it you could do every week but it's set to every Tuesday just like the frequently asked question said now this is where I think I made the mistake so for my funding account I put premium savings which I believe is set up as a regular account and so I already have money in the Roth IRA from I guess selling stuff for dividends and so what I want to do is change this to the Roth IRA I want to change this to the Roth IRA uh, amount account so we're gonna hit save and then uh, we're gonna hit done now I, th I think there it probably would have thrown an error or something but if you can make IRA contributions with automatic investing that's that's a nice feature but you're gonna have to be careful about how you do it because you don't want to put in uh, I, I don't know if there's I guess it stops at 3,000 or whatever the limit is for IRA now but you could you could pause this if you wanted to so if I if I want to pause this I don't want to do it next week I could do that I can remove it and I think you can have up to like 50 of these going so anyways I just wanted to show you my mistake so I'm I'm gonna inquire about opening a savings account with the um, the I'm gonna inquire about opening a, another savings account for my Roth IRA because but although I, I probably won't need it because I'll probably be maxed out as far as my investments go for the retirement account but I, I do keep emergency cash in my regular account and you know in case you need uh, anyways that's my uh, video for today have a good one